TikTok phobias. This big. Okay, roach. what is this gonna be? Oh. That is not a roach at the size of a bus. Oh, oh man, oh man, oh man. I actually held a roach and I was terrified. I didn't know what it was gonna be. This was what's in the box challenge. I felt so scared, but I didn't want to throw them because I didn't want to hurt them. They're not getting off me! But I hated them so much. Get them off me, get them off me, get me off me! I was so scared. Oh man, so gross. So gross. But I did it. This is free diving. Oh man, that's so scary. My nightmare called. And it's artsier than I remember it. This is so scary. That looks so deep. I could not do this. Could you guys do this? Okay, let's see. Why is he falling like that? This is so creepy. Ooh. He's in water, right? Or is he in the air? Can't tell. I don't want none of that. This dude can't touch a wet cloth or anything wet. Wait, so that's not a piece of ham? He's aquaphobia apparently. Fear of being wet. I can't believe you cannot touch. You know what? He's wearing an Under Armour shirt, so his own perspiration can't even touch him. The phobia runs deep in you, my son. Does he plow? What happens when it rains? I'm picturing him high pitched screaming looking outside a window. Hope you don't have a fear of bottomless pits. Don't all oceans appear to be bottomless pits? The only thing I'm scared of is dropping my phone. Which reminds me of the time when I was on a boat and my friend dropped her phone in the lake. You know what? I actually can't remember how deep it was, but it was very deep. So we hired a scuba diver to go find the phone, and he did find it. So, if you lose your phone, not all is lost. Not all hope is lost. Fear of monsters under the bed is called terrorphobia. But what about fear of skits not being as funny as they could be? We all had that fear, let's be honest. Rhinophobia. Fear of dogs? Eh? What? Okay, I'm saying what, but my aunt had this and it's actually super funny. Once my cousin brought her tiny shih tzu to a family party and my aunt jumped on a couch screaming and then ran out of the house. It was kind of amazing, not gonna lie. This is, you might have nomophobia, fear of losing internet. If these pictures scare you, fear of losing the internet. Get away from me, stay back, stay back. I think we can just call this being a millennial or a Gen Zer. <laughs> this is thalassophobia. It's the fear of the ocean or being underwater. I mean, I don't have that fear, but even this video freaks me out a little bit. You know what's the scariest phobia of them all? Not liking this video phobia. It's the fear of watching this video without leaving a like. I'm telling you, really don't want to experience this, so just leave a like in this video to avoid it. The worst phobia is to have part five. Fear of people in masks and costumes. Yeah, that's pretty terrifying, not gonna lie. Honestly, I, I think I have this phobia. That's nightmare fuel right there. You know what they say? The realest mask is the one we wear every day. Therapy. We all need therapy. <laughs> Megalophia is the fear of large objects. So pretty much stay away from me after Thanksgiving dinner if you have this. Oh, that's crazy. There's so many phobias here that I didn't even know existed. Me running upstairs with the boogeyman before he emerges in my dark basement. I think we all do this. Well, at least I do. Anytime I turn off the lights and it's dark, I need to run. I don't know what's gonna get me, but I don't wanna risk it. The caption says, I love the ocean, but I'm hella scared of fish. But like, you can't have the ocean without fish. That's like saying, I love soda, but hate carbonation. Also, I just discovered a new phobia I have. Drying loaves of bread being chanted in my head. Did you see that thing? Look, why would you do that? Rude. Scared of flying? Do I have the tour for you? This is a scene at Universal Studios. <laughs> well, never flying again, this is terrifying. Why would you do this to someone? My big bad scary pit bull. Aww, Aww. he's so cute, yeah. He's scared of the sizzling man. Aww. I feel like pit bulls are one of the most misunderstood breeds. Don't believe the hype. Any dog, regardless of their breed, can be dangerous in the wrong hands. Look at this little muffin. He wouldn't hurt a fly. This dog is scared of fireworks. So every 4th of July, they set up dog videos in bed for her to watch with headphones. This is too cute. My heart can't take it. Me alone at the age of 10, and my really parents said they'd be home at 10 p.m., but it's 10.01. When your parents aren't home after they said they'd be. Because parents are adulty and responsible. They can never be late. Okay, honestly, there's being afraid of elevators and then there's being afraid of being in an elevator with a friend who's jumping up and down trying to make a crash. 
You know, what's another elevator related phobia? Being trapped in an elevator with someone who just farted? Now that's scary. I hate when people jump in elevators. You actually can get stuck, and when you do, it sucks. Why would you do that to us? Anxiety levels are through the roof right now. I can barely watch this one. Why is this so loud? Please tell me they're attached to the court in case they fall. Who's scared of spiders out there? Spiders are extremely important in our homes and environment. They feast on bugs and flies, which carry bacteria and destroy our crops. Instead of squashing spiders, catch them and release them into your garden to let them do their work. This is a very good argument. I actually do this with spiders because, you know, they do scare me and I don't want them to touch me, so I like to release them into the wild. Another alternative of squashing them, you could always just burn your house down to the ground. That's actually why I keep changing places, I keep running into spiders. Okay, on the real though, who can relate? No, yeah, yeah. Who's afraid of the dark? A phobia is so common, there was a TV show called after it. Do you remember that? Or am I just old? Don't answer that. Do they put her face in the cake they are? Oh, they put a fake bug in there. Oh, wow. It's how you traumatize someone for life. This is be her birthday, not her last day. Our dog refuses to go on tile. Oh, he's scared of the toilet. Come here. Come here. He's poor Come here. He's scared of tiles. Come here. I want to know why. What happened to you, boy? What oh. tiles hurt you in the past? I will avenge you. Whoa! Okay, for a second, I didn't realize there was glass. I mean, she thinks she's flexing us, but that's a sculpture that's been designed and tested for this. Do some free solo climbing off the beams of a building, then we'll talk. Actually, don't do it. It terrifies me. A fear of chickens. People are actually scared of chickens? I mean, they aren't the cutest, but why afraid? Also, I wish this video was a person who's afraid of chickens coming face to face with. Now, that's great content. The irrational fear of man made objects in water. Huh? People are actually afraid of this? It's very specific. Hey, whatever floats your boat. Hmm, <laughs> get it? Literally, because you know a boat is a man made object in water. <clears throat> the fear of human like objects. So, for example, mannequins. Okay, those are not mannequins. One was a robot, and the other was a ghost, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> a fear of touching slash eating fish or a fish in general. What? Does that include the fear of being catfish? Now, all these fish are scary. No one's eating this fish. This is terrifying. Everyone's scared of the anglerfish, right? This is the fear of back rooms that make me want to remove my skin. What? A lot of people have fear of back rooms. These empty rooms that seem really familiar and super scary. Lots of people will see these in their dreams. But is it the empty rooms that are scary or the ugly wallpaper? Hard to tell, honestly. Fear of balloons. Which in my way is the gateway fear to being scared of clowns. <laughs> this is the fear of hospitals. Well, of course they're scary when you show a photo of a demon child in an empty hospital. But what kind of person is thrilled to be in a hospital anyway? Those are the people I'm scared of. Fear of Amber Alert. Honestly, I'm not sure if this is a fear as much as everyone is triggered by emergency alarms because isn't that the point of them? You can't hear a soothing melody before an emergency announcement. Attention, attention, this is an emergency. Please evacuate the area. It just doesn't work. Fear of high-pitched piano notes. This one's a phobia for everything. So I don't even have an Aussie phobia. The only way to face your fears is to subscribe to this channel. You can do it, I believe in you. Aww. Fear of height, honestly. Can someone save this child? Because I have a fear of child abuse. Oh, I just wanna hug him. Fear of doorways. Or maybe sure enough, there's no one. I'm not sure, which one. Baby scared of vacuum runs the dog for protection. Aww. One, this is adorable, and two, now we know that the exact mental development level of cats because they are this shook by vacuums. Like, I love how the dog is a little freaked out, but he knows he needs to be the anchor. Do you have a fear of roller coasters? I don't know if this is a roller coaster or more of a huge drop. I've never gone those rides. Let's take the worst part and make it just that. Oh man, you can see in this one when her soul leaves her body right here. Does anyone else shout for mom whenever there's a bug in your room? And when your mom comes in, the bug has disappeared. Frog phobia? Are people really afraid of frogs? They're so cute and not threatening. I mean, I think I've been scared of kissing one because of that fairy tale. But this isn't right. See you there, little guy. I'm trying to work out here. He's on my glass. Let's go outside. Let's if go that's outside. not a good excuse to cancel your workout, I don't know what is. Lacanophobia. Now, this takes not eating your Fear vegetables. vegetables? Oh, another level. These people get shortness of breath and nausea even at the sight of a vegetable. Guys, you know what this is? Your foolproof excuse to never have to eat vegetables again. You can't expect me to eat this broccoli with my lacnophobia. Lacanophobia, how do we say it? Next, we got ombrophobia. Now, for the people who have this one, when it rains, it pours. These people have anxiety attacks when it's starts to rain outside. 
Last, but certainly not least, we have Umphalophobia, which is the fear of belly buttons, and it's said that the people who have this one sometimes get their belly buttons surgically removed. What? Honestly, the belly button one kind of get dark hole in your body? What's in there anyways? Monsters? Next up, we have Anthophobia, aka the fear of flowers. Now, these people know that flowers are not going to hurt them, but even at the sight of a flower, they just get insane what? anxiety. Third, we have Ablutophobia, or the fear of taking a bath or washing up. Now, the people I didn't know any of these existed. There's literally a phobia awesome for everything. About a dirty situation. And last, we have Phobophobia. This is the fear of having a fear. <laughs> these people fear, 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 fear itself. That's hilarious. Okay, reception. So meta. Let me know what you guys are scared of in the comments. I love you all so much. Stay awesome, stay sweet, and don't forget to be nice to each other. Bye bye.